guys, Jess here. So it's been about a week since I've seen you guys. I'm really, really sorry. So for some of you who know, I do have fibromyalgia. Those invisible illnesses suck uh, a lot. Okay. Um, I've had a bit of a flare up this week and I've just not been very well. So I've kind of hidden this week. I haven't really watched a lot of YouTube. So if I haven't been commenting on people's stuff, I'm really sorry. I've been just, yeah, doing my thing. Um, for those of you who have seen my TikTok, I did put this on TikTok. I just had like a quick five minutes and I thought I'll get something up on TikTok. Sorry about the beanie. It's really, really cold in Perth. This morning when I went to take the kids to school, my windscreen was ice. It took ages to get it safe to drive. So I bought my first thing off, what's that place called? Whatnot. Um, it took a really long time to get here because it goes to a third party and it goes from the for those in australia who haven't bought from whatnot it is an american site so you buy something and it goes from the seller to a third party the third party verify it and then send it on so you have to pay an extra fee to have that done um but it came in amazing condition and i've wanted this for a really 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 long time and i think all up it was about 60 dollars so it was a really good deal. These are really hard to find in Australia, especially with the Hot Topic sticker. Um, so I think I got a bit of a bargain with this one. Um, I really like this sugar skull sort of look. And as you can tell behind me, I do love my Nightmare Before Christmas. Now this one. All right, so I think, I could be wrong, but I think I might have bought this off eBay. Now I have... This is a really, really crappy protector. I'm just going to throw this out there. Um, like really, really poor quality. But I do have another one that I'm going to put it in. Let me get it out of the box. So I don't know whether fakes were made of this. Or how to tell. Like I do believe it would be legit. Like it has got the sticker. Has everything that I would expect. The box is just really light. Um... I did open it to take it out. Like, the cardboard is really, really thin compared to the newer boxes. So, I don't know whether the old boxes were just made of thin cardboard. Or if I possibly have a fake. Um, but, I mean, like, the it is pretty scratched up. Which I would expect from this 2013 pop. You know, I would expect the wear from it. Um, and it does seem to have that wear. Now, I would assume that if it was a fake, probably wouldn't have the box wear. Uh, you know, the sticker adds up. There's a bit of a scratch in there. I think I might have paid a little bit to get this on eBay, but I can't remember. It was quite a while ago. I do believe I have... I have this guy. I think he's the only one I've got. I'm not sure if he's a glow one. I don't believe he is. He's very yellow though, so... I mean, the one on the back of this box is very white. I'm not sure. I don't really remember. I think I have the box for him. I'll have to have a look. But I'm slowly getting my Nightmare Before Christmas wish list a little higher. Day by day. You know, bit by bit, just keeping my eye on things like whatnot and eBay. Um, now, I went, uh, uh, somebody tagged me in a post that showed that I had won something from Fanbase Collectibles. Um, so I popped into their shop and I'd won the Batman Chase from Christmas time. Uh, I don't really know what happened there, I totally forgot that I'd even entered. Um, so when I went in to pick this up, I also got them to um, help me get some stuff to put in a mystery box to send over to Kay Titus. Um, we're trying to get together some stuff to send over. He does a lot of volunteer work in hospitals with kids who have cancer and things like that. So uh, Fanbase have donated a little bit of stuff that I've got packed at the moment on the table. I'm just waiting to be able to send that off because I'm getting a few little bits and pieces to put in there. Um, so keep your eye on Kay Titus's channel um, to see what, what gets pulled out of there. I also was walking past Smoke Mart, so this is the last thing I'll show you guys today. Um, I'll try and get a couple more videos up, but I'm still not feeling 100%, so I don't know. I don't really have a lot coming in the post at the moment either. 
Um, I think I, I ordered a couple of things from Pop Culture, but that was only this morning, so they probably won't be here for another week. Um, so I am collecting the Pop Rocks line, as you guys know, and I didn't have uh, any ZZ Tops, and this one was flocked, which I thought was really cool. And I thought it would be the beard that was flocked, but it's actually not. It's the guitar. So that's really cool. Um, so this is Billy Gibbons. I got it for $10. Like, I don't know if you guys can see. But Smoke Mart, I think Smoke Mart might be clearing out their pop vinyls because I've been to a couple of Smoke Marts who don't have any pop vinyls at all anymore. And the pop, vi uh, the pop vinyls near me at the Smoke Mart have all almost all been reduced to $10. So I think maybe they're just going to stop selling them. Um, oh goodness, I should have got this sticker off straight away. It's kind of stuck there. Oh, okay. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, I hope you like my Nightmare for Christmas stuff. If you know anything about those Sally's and, and how to spot a fake in them, please let me know if there are any fakes made of them. Um, but yeah, it's, it's good to be back and see you guys again. It's been a long five days and I missed you all and I keep thinking of things that I can film. And I have been taking videos of um, some op shop finds and stuff like that. I picked up a whole heap of videos the other day. I just have to sit down and edit and my brain's just not letting me do that right now. But, you know, there'll be lots to catch up on soon. I promise I'll get it all up as soon as I can. So if you're a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back. Um, if you are new here, please consider subscribing. We would love it. And um, yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.